You know, it's hard to believe this is the actual site in 1974 that marked Steven Spielberg's directorial debut. The Sugarland Express. Long before he had a close encounter with a certain shark, or even an ET for that matter, Steven Spielberg was right here in Sugarland having a sweet experience filming the movie The Sugarland Express. What are you doing with our man in there? He's just taking us to Sugarland to get my boy Langston. <laughs> I think it was huge for the community because, again, living 20 miles from Houston, it was the way Sugarland kind of had its own, if you would, 15 minutes in the spotlight. And so a lot of people still recognize and watch the film and, and, and give just a lot of, kind of say, a little bit of civic pride, if you would, that it was shot here. Houston, this is Captain Tanner. Believe our man is hijacked. Repeat, hijacked. Right now we're here at the Imperial Sugar Company, and this particular site has a lot of history. It goes all the way back to Stephen F. Austin days. You know, the railroad played a big part. The land itself then changed hands several times, most famously by Ezekiel Kepner in 1906, who ended up creating the Imperial Sugar Company. He named the company after the Imperial Hotel in New York for its elegance and style. In fact, if you look at the Sugarland logo, the city's logo itself has the crown from the Imperial Sugar Company, so it's been that tied into it. The movie Sugarland Express was filmed in 1974 here in Sugarland, but it actually took place a real life story in 1969. And if you look at the film and you'll notice a couple things, one of them is they kind of try to give the impression that Sugarland's a rural area back in 1969. Which wasn't the case because you had subdivisions like Sugar Creek in 1968 being developed. You had other, other master plan communities actually taking shape. Houston was noticing what was happening in Sugarland back in the 1960s and early 70s when the movie was filmed. But the producers worked really uh, great at just kind of utilizing some of the rural scenes of Sugarland with the car chases and whatnot. But you know, nothing could be further from the truth. The city was booming at the time. You okay? Yeah, I'm all okay. The movie featured Goldie Hawn. This was her first film after winning the Academy Award in Cactus Flower. So she waited a whole entire year to wait for a project that was worthy of this. So when Steven Spielberg came calling, she wanted to be a part of this particular movie. Uh, but it did bring a lot of attention. It brought a lot of um, notoriety. It was fun seeing some of these scenes happen in the small town at the time. If I get in that car, you got kidnapped, and that's fact. Uh, car chases and whatnot, movie cameras, uh, the big stars that were there as well. I see lights, a whole bunch. Put that shotgun on this officer here so he knows where you're at. The film itself really brought a lot of great light to what was happening here in Sugarland. I think it was priceless that Mr. Spielberg used the title of Sugarland in the movie. It certainly made the residents feel really good about it and you know and it kind of etched it in memory for a long time. I've seen the transition of it going from a very active refinery site to what is going to be one of the premier redevelopment sites. I'm pretty excited about what's happening here. Everything behind me is things that they're planning on keeping in the redevelopment. They're preserving one of the longest running sites of a corporation in the state of Texas. Great spot for people to come out and spend a day or spend an evening here. It's just going to just be a great place for Sugarland. Yeah.